If you are Tier 2 or Tier 3 help desk, you may have actually access to Teams administration. And if you're interested in this and how it works, this video is perfect for you. Hello everyone, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. Today's video I'm going to show you how Teams is administered. It's actually very, very simple. You need to have a role of a Teams administrator in order to create new groups and edit channels. However, if you are an owner of a specific group, you can also edit channels and edit certain things within Teams. So let's keep it simple. Let's start from showing you what kind of requirements you need to become Teams administrator specifically. So from Microsoft 365 Admin Center, select users, select active users, and let's just pretend in this case that you are Diego Cicilline, and let's say Diego has been hired to become Teams administrator. With Diego selected, we just need to scroll down a little bit down here, and under roles, select manage roles. Here we are going to give them Teams administration role. So select admin center access here, scroll down a little bit and select Teams administrator. Here you can see under the description, it says full access to Teams and Skype admin center, manages Microsoft 365 groups and service requests and monitors service help. So as a Teams administrator, this is the access that you would want but let's say you just want to give somebody else a basic ability to edit their own channels. Sort of like you have Discord and some other applications where it's a basically a place where you can chat, share files, this and that. Since the organizations can be so large, for those reasons you have the ability to make somebody an owner of that group or a channel so that way they can edit their own channels and make some other changes that are within themes so that way you don't have to manage every aspect of every group that is out there all right so now we know what kind of access you need to be teams administrator now let's go inside of teams and see how we can add an owner so that that owner can make changes as well Within Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I'm just going to scroll down and select Teams here. This will bring us to Administrator Center for Teams. So it says here Microsoft Teams Admin Center. If you're here, that means you have access to it. On the same page, select icon here for Teams where you see three little people hovering <laughs> and select Manage Teams. And here you can see all the groups that are already added in there. So these are all groups. If you are a member of these groups, you can see this come up within your team. So let's say you log into Teams and if you are a part of any of these groups, then you will see it on your Teams and you can use it to either chat or whatever, however it's set up for you specifically. All right, let's see how this actually looks like. So let's select Digital Initiative Public Relations Group. We can see that there are 14 members as part of this group. If we scroll down, we can scroll through all of these people. We can see that some people are owners and some people are members. And here's that thing that I was telling you about. If you're an owner, you can actually edit different aspects of the Teams group itself. All right, let's see how it looks like in Teams. I'm going to select here Open in Teams, so that way we can see how it looks like, how it shows up. Remember, this is the Digital Initiative Public Relations. And since I am a member of this group, you can I can see it show up on my left-hand side. So in my column, amongst all of the other groups that I am a member of, Digital Initiative Public Relations Public will show up. And here is our general channel. This is a channel, sort of like, again, I like to compare it to Discord because Discord is like the most probably common similar thing that is out there that is vastly used and very popular. So it's like a channel, like a chat channel that you can see. So where do we see this part where it says general? So let's go back to Microsoft Teams and select channels. Here it is. This is where the general comes up. Again, here are all the members all the members, we are also part of this group. And here is here are our channels. In this case, it's just one. So it's just one channel. It's called general. And here it is. That's the, the channel that we're looking at right now. As simple as that, right? It's easy to follow. If we want to add another channel down here under general, we can certainly do that. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So we are already on channels on Microsoft Teams Admin Center. Let's go ahead and select add and create a new channel. Here's our pop-up on the right. Let's call it marketing description marketing and here you have few options or three options when it comes to type of channel so let's see what we have if we select a little exclamation here it gives us a description of what each one of them is and what it does standard is accessible to everyone in the team so whoever is part of the team meaning that all the members there of digital initiative public relations they can see it if it's set to private, it's accessible only to a group of people within the team. This means that the people that you add in there manually, individually, are the only ones that can see it. And they have to be part of this existing team that says Digital Initiative Public Relations. And if it's shared, it's accessible to group of people within and outside or within or outside your organization who are given access. If it's set to shared, that means we can share this group, Teams channel, and we can invite other people that are even outside of our organization. So let's start with default, which here is standard, select apply, and it's going to pop up right here. It says marketing, it's right there. We can see that it's standard. I'm going to click back to our teams and we can see that marketing has showed itself right away. Here it is. This is what we just created, right? It's simple enough. We are now able to edit teams and for everybody that is part of it, it automatically pops up. They don't have to reboot their computer. They don't have to log in or log out. It's automatically created. The channel is there just like any other social media platform that is similar to this so we can see now that we've created this channel within this group for teams so what other options do we have if we select on the three dots while we have marketing selected select three dots for more options we can edit channel we can manage channel and that's fine we can do this because we are the administrator but how about other people we don't necessarily want to do maintenance on all of these look how many there is and this is only a few in a bigger organization there will be a lot more so you want to designate an owner that can do all of these semantics so if you click on the three dots for this channel you can select manage channel you can edit channel name change the description all of these things that are kind of tedious for every administrator to do for every channel and that's fine if this is part of your job however if it's a big organization you want to dedicate an owner that can go in and once they log in teams and they see the same channel they can go in and make these changes themselves so back in teams select members in this case well let's make yeah let's make adele vance the owner since she is their retail manager and this is digital initiative public relations why not she is a manager she is a responsible person meaning that she's not going to abuse the power of editing the team's channels right so let's do that and i'm going to select adele here just so that you know that i'm working on her on the right side it's very simple just select the drop down and change to owner now adele can make all of these changes on her own without having to reach out to teams administrators to make these simple changes and she can also customize this channel when it comes to description name this and that all right so that's great very simple very easy to do and of course since we are talking about different members and owners you can add new owners if you select add owner and you can simply search for the person that's going to be new owner and of course same thing for members if you want to add other people to be members of this group you can certainly do so it's very self-explanatory explanatory and you can do so at any time add owners add members all right so let's create another channel that we're going to make a shared channel if we make it a private one we can certainly do that but it, that's simply you know you make it a private and only people that are invited to that channel will be able to see it and they'll be very locked down 
And I feel like that's very self-explanatory and we can do that at any time. So under channel selected, let's create a new channel and it's going to be a shared channel that will be shared with people of outside of our organization in this case. So that's the idea behind it in this case. It doesn't have to be, it could be just something that you share as an easy way of having people join the channel and that's fine but if you are also wanting to share it with people that are outside of organization this is how you would do it select add under channels and this is let's see this is a digital initiative public relationship we're talking about marketing and let's call it sales team in this case we're going to role play that this channel is a way to reach a sales team by the other organization by other organization that does business with our organization and for those reasons this team's channel is going to be created so that we can collaborate without having to rely on emails and this and that so we'll i'll give you an example of how i'm going about this so the channel is going to be called sales teams select shared to type and now we can invite people that are going to be channel owners of course you can have more than one owner which is fine select apply adele can go in and edit and modify this one as well to her like and customize it the way she wants it all right sales team is added go back to teams and here it is it popped up immediately and you can see the icon that indicates that it's shared even if you select it or hover over it so all the members that are of this group here and for this channel they can share it so in order to share this select three dots for more options for that same channel sales team channel go up go to share channel select with people so you can share with people that are within your organization or even outside of your organization with a team that's another team that's within your organization or within a team with a team that you own so let's try with people and it tells you right here type a name of someone in your organization you want to add to this channel straightforward you can also add people outside of your organization by typing their email address now keep in mind that this person that you're inviting needs to actually be a member of or needs to have a microsoft account so if you just type in anybody's account they will not come up unless they already have a teams login that's associated with their email address so they have to have teams already in order for you to invite them so just because it says here add people outside of your organization by typing their email address it doesn't mean that they will show up at all unless they already have an associated email with teams specifically so it doesn't necessarily have to be a microsoft account i apologize for that but it has to be an email that's associated with teams specifically uh, yeah i don't know why i was thinking that well i guess because i'm thinking that if you create a teams account you already are part of microsoft which that's that was my thinking behind it but it's not it's just your email address that's associated with teams login so they need to have teams login so let's just invite person uh, sure let's invite megan bowen and she's a marketing manager let's pretend that she is at a different you know part of different organization that's fine select share and now megan will get an email we'll get an email letting her know that she is now invited to this channel and then when she opens up her teams she will see the same thing pop up we can change her membership right here which is actually very convenient and if we want to make her just an owner that's we can do that if we want to but in this case we don't want to because she is an outside organization and we just want to invite her to this so we can collaborate and make some sales you know what i mean make some money <laughs> all right i will leave it at this point and uh, i hope you find it interesting and educational i know this is very basic and that's the whole point of my videos is so that way you get a basic understanding of what teams administrator might do there are plenty of other things we can talk about in here we can see there are things like manage frontline teams 
other team settings, team's policies, team's templates, and all of this thing, and it becomes a little bit more advanced. But in this case, for this first video, I wanted to keep it simpler. And the reason I wanted to make this video specifically is because people are asking me for Teams administration videos. And this is one of those things that most people will have access to if they are administrators of Microsoft Office. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Share it with friends that might need this type of training as well, if you don't mind. I'd really appreciate that. And I'm sure they will appreciate it as well. Take care. Have a good one. Bye bye. Please take a moment to say hi, hello, or present. It's sort of like a roll call in the class. That way I know you're present and you're interested in this type of content in the comments below. Thank you so much.